Hey, I know there's a lot of confusion out there for people just getting into water tanks and you know rainwater collection and that sort of thing and there's a lot of crazy information out there with respect to tank floats so I wanted to give a quick example now you might hear terms like it's a pump up switch or it's a pump down switch I'll tell you what that means if you have a water tank that you want to fill up and you're controlling the pump that fills it you would call that a pump up float what that means is when the float is up like this assuming this is our tank and as the water comes down or whatever's in it the level comes down when the tank float is all the way up that's a normally closed switch okay so right now the switch would be open and as your water level falls and the switch comes down click it'll turn on the pump will run the tank will fill and it'll go back up so that that is called normally closed or pump up and when it talks about normally closed it's when the pump is, or when the float is in the down position so when it's down it's closed like a switch it turns on the, the pump fills the tank and it goes back up turns off all right that's a pump up or normally closed the other option is if you had a tank you were using for sewage water, right? What you would want in that case, so now you're not pumping to fill the tank up, you're pumping to fill the or to empty the tank, or now you're you're using it in a pump down configuration. So normally when the float would be down, you're in a normally open scenario, so the switch is not enabled, the pump is not running. But as the sewage water fills the tank, or maybe it's even in your basement as a sump pump. The float stays down, the pump is off. Now as your reservoir fills up, you flush your toilets or the rainwater is entering your basement and the tank gets higher and higher and higher, click, the tank or the pump turns on and it's gonna start draining the tank or the reservoir and as it falls back down and the tank gets empty, poop, it goes to the off position. So just remember, there's a couple ways of talking about this. So again, a pump up switch is used to fill a tank. A pump down switch is used to empty a tank. Similarly, a normally closed switch is used to fill a tank. And a normally open switch is used to drain a tank. Now, one other thing to remember, what I'm showing you here is a, or SJE rhombus, uh, pump master WPS float switch. This is a drinking water approved float switch if you are using a Float switch in a drinking water application You better be sure it's drinking water approved in this particular instance If I can show you here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read that or not but this has been approved to NSF 61 by CSA for both this for both Canada and the United States. All right. Let's see if you can see that. In SF61. Now it has some limitations. This can only be used in tanks of 250 gallons or more. All right. If you try to use this in a 100 gallon water tank, this is not approved for drinking water in that application. You will hear people tell you online to use a mercury switch in a drinking water application, and I would highly recommend against that. If that switch fails and that mercury leaks into your water, you're in trouble. You can also find crazy random junk on, on Amazon that you can buy for this application. And number one, you don't know if it's electrically safe, right? Remember, this is controlling a pump that has high current. And number two, you don't know if it's drinking water safe. Now, in the case of these SJE Rhombus WPS switches, they also have the micro switches for, um, for you know, switching purposes if you're not directly controlling the pump and maybe you're going into a pump uh, controller. But the tag on the unit identifies that it has a CSA electrical safety approval and it has a drinking water approval. It's probably hard to see those. And this thing's probably not gonna focus. But if you're installing a switch in your electrical system that's running full electricity, right? 
and it's not approved, your insurance, if that burns your house down, your insurance can disallow the claim. You're not following National Electrical Code. Similarly, if you use just some random switch or a mercury switch that's not approved for drinking water, you may end up poisoning your family and there's no recourse there. So I'd recommend, now I'm not saying that there's not other pump manufacturer or uh, switch manufacturers out there that, that make drinking water approved equipment. I just happen to have an SJE Rhombus version. You should be paying attention to what you're using. Your health and your safety may depend on it. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. I know there's a lot of confusion about what a pump up and a pump down switch does or sometimes they're called normally open or normally closed. In fact, this switch is both, so you can use it in either application, um, depending on which wires you hook up. I won't get into the details there. Check out my video on installing my water pump. Uh, I'm gonna be using one of these to control a well pump in a pump up scenario, but I'm also gonna be using another one in a normally open situation to have a reserve. So it'll normally be up here and and then when the switch falls down it'll open up and it'll tell my booster pump to stop pumping out of the tank hope this was helpful if you have any questions or you have a particular scenario you're trying to use a switch for and you don't know what to use put some messages down in the comments i'll leave a link to these sje rhombus pump master i'll give you a link to their website where you can check out their switches for drinking water and I'll also put a link to where I purchased this from. It's the cheapest price I found online at the time. Not very complicated, but it's helpful to understand what you're getting into. Again, like, subscribe. Any comments or questions in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you in a day or two.